Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make a makeshift office teaspoon. I don't know if any of you have been in a situation where you have gotten to the office or wherever you are and realized you've got everything to make your coffee but no teaspoon. That happened to me and I realized I've got everything except I left my teaspoon at home. So this is something I've actually done before out of desperateness for a warm cup of coffee. So what you're going to need is about two of these paper clips, the 50 millimeter paper clips, medium size. I've got three set out so long. Uh, what I've done is I'll put that one away. One I've elongated, just made it straight. The one I've only bent the two round parts, well, this double lapping side, I've made them straight. Another thing you will need is one of these file binders. This part you won't need, so you can put that away. You just need this. And also, not the whole thing. If you want to, you can cut it right at the bend with um, wire cutters or pliers, which I don't have right now with me, since my pliers is at home and we at Kim's office. Okay, so that's what it used to look like, this middle section. Bye bye. Now you've got the one arm, the other arm, the two um, paper clips. I'm gonna need cellar tape just now, but I'll put that away for now. And then shrink wrap. I prefer the soft shrink wrap, not the brittle type shrink wrap. This is more pliable and easier to work with for me. What you're going to need is to cut out a pair of scissors, which I've done previously, a bit of a square. First things first. To get everything out of the way that you won't need. Take the straight paper clip and make it as round as possible as you can. From the middle. Almost something like that. Then you take the other paper clip gave it a little bend like that. What I like to do is if you can see you've got a shorter piece here on your round your head of the teaspoon shape. Short piece and a long piece. Here, with the natural bend that it had, you'll end up with a short piece and a long piece. I prefer to have the long and short piece and long and short piece. Match that up and start twisting to bind them. If the paper clip wants to 
vent. Sometimes it's best to use a needle nose plier for those of you who aren't sure. It's the one with the, the pliers with the thin nib in the front. You can use the other one but with a gap like this it's just going to be quite a bit awkward. And of course the more you twist it the more secure it will be. This is where short nails doesn't help you much. Sometimes you twist one part, move over to the next, then the original part would unhook itself. So what I've did there, I've wrapped it, one of the arms around the handle part that just helps with more security readjust the head if you need to you can make it bigger if you want to you can make it smaller if you want to if you want to you can use a stick of print or whatever to wrap this around and you'll have a smoother head Then you get your plastic. If you want, you can trim it more. Lay it over the head of your teaspoon. Wrap it around, see which way it goes better. That should work. What I do is wrap it around, but you need to give some leeway. So that it goes inwards. For it to keep the shape is where these things come in. I like to crisscross them. Now, with these things, just be careful. The edges are sharp. On the one side, it's got a rounded feel. On the other side, it's got a sharper feel. I uh, guess it's how it's been cut. But form it a bit to make the scoop side of your teaspoon. lay it in there and wrap the overlapping part down same with this one be sure to get all of the plastic that you want to grab one arm if you want to you can even to prevent the sagging do it from the bottom but wanna Get this part out of the way first.
here we go nice scoop here but now you've got the unnecessary flaring of the loose side of the the open side of the plastic that's where your sellotape comes in now this is not for a permanent thing it's just for a day's use another useful paper clip especially the smaller ones is to stick down underneath the end part of your sellotape so you can actually find this sellotape is not my normal sellotape that's why I don't have that tape down otherwise what you can do is with the tape just bend it over but that's another life app for another time Oops. There you go. It's not the best looking. But it will help you out in a pinch. Just a little life hack. It doesn't help with survival skills. Unless you need coffee to survive for the morning. If you want to, you can... Use some more plastic wrapped around the handle. You can use longer paper clips to make the handle part longer. This bigger. Any way you want to. Wrap this around a few more times so it doesn't poke out. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. If you, those of you who haven't subscribed yet. Click the subscribe button, comments down below, let me know what you think, and let me know if there's something else you want to see. Cheers guys.